Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel, and today we're going to look at the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket sold at Disney Parks. You cowardly, rotten, no good scoundrel. All right, first and foremost, let me just say I am not a popcorn bucket person. I am a Disney Parks person. Uh, my wife and I have been pass holders uh, for many different years, and I even worked in the parks as a cast member, so fully fluent in the Disney like, that's, uh, it kind of goes part and partial now with Star Wars, right? And uh, I do love Disney merch. I do love Disney merch and uh, have no problems going through the stores. And I love uh, looking at all the different collectibles. Disney does great Star Wars merch. Awesome Star Wars merch. Um, especially if you go to the 5K runs or any of the special events that they have, there's always going to be Star Wars merch that isn't available anywhere else. But... That said, um, I've never been a popcorn bucket person. I've never bought any of the previous Star Wars popcorn buckets. And there's been the Hansel and Carbonite. There was the TIE Fighter. Uh, there was the Mouse Droid. There was the Darth Vader uh, helmet head and R2-D2. I think that's all of them. And uh, they're okay. I mean, I didn't really love the TIE Fighter because it really wasn't proportionate. The wings seemed really small. Uh, I did like the Mouse Droid. And who knows, maybe after this... I could see getting the mouse droid. That's probably the second favorite one I've seen. And how much mouse droid paraphernalia is out there anyway? That seems like it would be a good one to collect. When I saw this, I was like, I have got to get this because it's the Millennium Falcon. And look how big it is. And look how detailed and awesome looking it is. Problem was, though, when I was going out to buy it, because I had to get mine off eBay. You can find lots of them on eBay. They're about double what you'd pay in the park. I believe park price is $24.99. Uh, you can get this at the Galactic Grill and you can get this at the different popcorn stands. Uh, but on eBay, you're going to pay twice as much, right? It's, it's, so mine was about 50 bucks. I really wanted to know how big it was. I mean, I saw it in pictures. I even saw it in video. I just kind of had trouble grasping the scale of what it was. So I really wanted to make this video just to show you in case you were thinking about picking it up as well. So let's go to some comparison pictures. All right, so the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket is 17 inches long and it's 13 inches wide. And if we're gonna compare it against other ships that maybe you might have, uh, this is the recent Micro Machines uh, like playset Millennium Falcon. And this is the full size uh, action figure set Millennium Falcon. And notice the size difference between the cockpits. And this is one of the things that Millennium Falcon collectors and purists kind of always complain about is the fact that once you put figures in, uh, the, the size ratio gets thrown off. They always make the cockpit way too big and it doesn't end up looking like the actual profile of the Millennium Falcon. And here's the popcorn bucket compared to the classic vintage Millennium Falcon. All right, so what are the features of this Millennium Falcon? Uh, there's two things. One, there's this uh, hinge uh, on the top, and this is where the popcorn goes in. It's this lever that comes right off the gun, see? And it's about this size, takes up all that space, and you can see internally uh, how much room you have. You could, and I was thinking about this, you could make this an action figure carrying case. Uh, you could make it a funny purse to take to celebration, right? This would totally be a purse to take to celebration. <laughs> or you could stick all your accessories in this as well, like guns, weapons, and things. Like They'd all be sliding around, but I guess you could. You could put a notepad in here and a pen, right? I guess. <laughs> and the other cool feature about this is the lights on the back. The engine lights actually light up. There's a little button right here. And if I press it, you can see the engine lights. And I'll show you what this looks like close up. And they do pulse. Right, they do pulse, and I'll turn the lights off, and you can see what they look like with the lights off as well. Definitely a cool feature, no sound, right, no sound, but there's a little battery compartment and a switch on the underneath. So that definitely makes it a cool feature, and then I've seen a lot of people that are now modding this to uh, look more like the actual paint job uh, with an airbrush. Just a couple of things to note if you're thinking about getting this just to mod it. Uh, first of all, there's the lever, right? There's the lever and the latch on the top. So those aren't actually you know, accurate. So you have that um, hinge that's on the back. And then underneath, there's no uh, stands. So this wobbles. It doesn't actually stand up on the ground. They didn't build any uh, stands for this to, to be a display. Then you have these hook pegs near the rear engines where the hooks are attached. And so that's just another uh, piece that's you know, something you'd have to contend with. 
But definitely you might want to do a Google search and look at some of the people who've modded this with paint and airbrush. Uh, it, there's some great detailing in this. And there's some of these uh, paint job guys have turned this into a literal masterpiece. And for 50 bucks, that's a really good price for a, a display piece that's this large. If you can find a way to display it, you know, maybe make a little acrylic stand or maybe suspend it from the ceiling, that'd be pretty cool. And lastly, I would say the clasp is a traditional clasp, but it's not adjustable. So depending on your height and build, uh, this might hang high on a tall individual. Uh, there's not a lot of loop strap here. I know on me, I'm 5'5", five five, which is perfect, but it might not hit everyone that way. I feel like it might have been made more for a teenager or for a, or a child. But I'm really happy with my purchase. I'm glad to at least have one uh, popcorn bucket in my collection. It's always good to, you know, add some variety to your collection so it's well-rounded. And if I do start getting into uh, Star Wars popcorn buckets, I can't think of a better one to begin my collection with than the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. Did you pick one up? Do you have one? Do you like yours? Have you modded yours? Are you thinking about getting one? Let us know in the comment section below. Hey, may the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.